Ye are of the Most High, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth sincerity. And the question is, do you really believe this? Because faith is the only thing that's going to matter at the end of the day. It ain't going to matter how many scriptures you know. It ain't going to matter how many breakdowns you know. Faith is going to be the only thing that's going to get you through. Believing that the he that is inside you is greater than the he that is in the world. The he that's in the world is Satan and his children. And knowing that our father is in control of everything. All right. He is the ones that give Satan. You know, his um task and. Through Satan, his physical counterpart, which is the spirit that dwelleth in Esau, Edom, the wicked, the so-called white man. The Lord is in control. The, first of all, he uses Esau, Edom, a.k.a. the so-called white man, as his sword. All right? So, no matter what this man do, the Lord is in control. But you have to understand that. The he that is inside you is greater than he that's in the world. It say, know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high and that he and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. You got the only power in the world. That dwells inside you. All right. That is the benefit of being an Israelite. And even better, the elect. Hopeful, of course, because we all hoping to be that. But, you know, when you listen to Elon Musk and you listen to these scientists, you listen to these doctors, they are madmen, crazy, mad scientists, you know, trying to change people's. DNA trying to make man transhumanism like he really feels like he's going to accomplish these things. But the Lord says otherwise. All right. The Lord said otherwise because all these are are devices. All these are is devices, man. It said regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen. But the desire of those that keep thy testimonies in affliction. So you ain't, we ain't even really supposed to be regarding what the wicked got going on. We supposed to be looking to the ones who keep the testimonies in affliction, man. Which that's what you um, strive to do and strive to be. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. Isaiah 33 and 6. All right. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's the beginning of wisdom. Falling into the hands of the Lord is way better than falling into the hands of man. That's Sirach 2 and 18 that I quoted and or Ecclesiasticus. And, you know, that that scripture really means a lot to me because. When it go to when it goes to this. It's saying, fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. All right. Because, see, when you fall into the hands of man, you're going to take the wicked devices that he's going to put out there, like the injection, the, the chip. You're going to take those things. That's falling into the hands of man because you fear him instead of the most high. See, when you fear the most high, you got to understand that 
the scripture says that the um, pressures in the eyes of him, the blood of his saints. That's Psalms 115 and 16 or 116 and 15. I'm going to get that after this scripture. Um, but anyways. So but you get a crown at the end. See, when you die falling into the hands of Esau, Edom, you get condemned. Am I right? You get destroyed. Because what the thing is that you're doing is that when you fall into the hands of man, you're preserving your life just for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai to burn your ass up. So if you have the mindset that Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed and you're trying to preserve your life in a place that's going to be destroyed by falling into their hands because you fear death when you should know what death is if you're in the truth. That is nothing but a transition and that you're going to come right back down with a crown on your head, ruling the people with a rod of iron um, under Yahweh Shai and King David, man. That's a hell of a deal. Because I always look at it like this, too. Life is about to get so bad. Why would you want to even be here? Because even if you feel like if I take these things that the devil is trying to give to me, my life can go back to normal or I could participate in society. It's still about to be destroyed. You are preserving your life just to be destroyed and have an everlasting condemnation. If you take that jab and you take that chip, because guess what? If you take the jab, you're going to take the chip. All right. It's that simple because it's not even mandatory yet. And you're going to go out there and put your arm out. Already with no temptation. So, yeah, yeah, you're going to take the 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 MOTB Revelation 13 and 16, because that's going to come upon the whole world. All right. Now, going to the one that I said I was going to get. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. All right, because that's the sacrifice. There's no sacrifice without blood. All right. No sacrifice without blood. When we used to have to use bullocks and goats and, and sheep for sin offerings. What, what, what was it? It was a blood sacrifice. All right. No sacrifices without blood. When it comes to, you know, atonement for your sins and things like that. And. The Lord delight in that. Look what he did to his only begotten son. Who the hell are we not to drink of that cup? And guess what, though? The beautiful thing, as I say in Matthew 16, some of us ain't going to taste death. All right. But the first who die, who the, the, the ones who die in this truth, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. They're going to be risen first. And then the ones who don't die is going to caught up with them. Ain't that beautiful, man? It's, it's, it's a win-win when you're in the truth. All through the scriptures, it talks about how death is rest. All right? Because born uh, a man born of a woman is a, of a few days in a full of trouble, as I say in Job. So, we're coming to that time where... Um, the temptation that's going to come upon the whole world, we're in that time, man. At any time. Go to sleep, wake up, we in that time. You know? But do you believe that the he that is in you is stronger and greater than he that is in the world? Guess what? The he that's in you control the one that's in the world. All right? So if the Lord wants to deliver you by some, some special... <laughs> you know, some spiritual power setting up that standard. He going to do that. If you got to be a martyr, guess what? You don't even think about it because. Um, the Lord's going to put it in your spirit, because first of all, that's your lot. The Lord's going to put it in your spirit. So when that time come, it, you're, you're just going to do it, man. So don't don't don't. um, You know, uh, meditate on your thoughts because this flesh is. Is a crazy place. Your heart is wicked and deceitful. 
as it's saying Jeremiah 17 and 9. So Satan know how to play on that. Remember, we don't fight against flesh and blood, but a spiritual wickedness in high places and principalities, Ephesians 6 and 12. So you got to understand that this flesh is nothing but a spiritual antenna to the wicked and, and, and the demons. They know how to play on that, but they can't play with the spirit. As the scripture says, watch and pray because the flesh is weak, but the spirit is indeed willing. And that's what keeps us going through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So no matter what you see, because we're in an information age now, the Lord has made this man bare. They, they, they're making a tongue fall upon themselves. And when you listen to him, you realize like, wow, these dudes really is crazy. They really trying to do this. They trying to do that. They know all the stuff that we know about all the stuff that they put in our food. But it's all in the scriptures. He said wherever he send us that we was going to eat our bread defiled with the Gentiles. That's Ezekiel 4 and 13. So you have to understand that Hebrews 11 and 6 says it's impossible to please the Most High without faith. Because guess what? That's what you're going to have to stand on in these times. And you've got to believe that the he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. So I just thought this would be an edifying lesson. And, you know, when you do videos, you always do video for yourself first. And Lord willing, whoever listening it can edify them, man. But I, I, I dwell on those type of things because, you know, the time is short. The Lord is really working. He's opening our eyes, as the scripture says, where there is no vision, the people perish. Proverbs 29 and 18. And, you know, we see these things, but you got to realize that the Lord is in control. Matter of fact, I'm going to end it on these ones just to prove that the Lord is in control in all generations. Say the Lord is the Lord bring up the counsel of the heathen and not he maker the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations and the word heart in the Hebrew in the Hebrew is lob, which means your mind. So he give the thoughts of his mind to all generations. So the story is already written. The victory is already written. We just got to play our part and be faithful and continue to pray for the strength to get through these times and everything going to be all right. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.